They're cut off. Miko, two plus two minutes and 26 seconds thereabouts. That'll be followed a few seconds after that by stage separation. Second stage engines start at T plus two minutes, 36 seconds. And then ferry deployment at T plus three minutes, wow. and five seconds. Look at that. A great view of the setting sun over the wow. earth. Wow, look at that. Side. Just beyond the flame of the Wow. First stage engines. Coming up on Miko. Wow. Here, check, check it out. Pretty, pretty little, yeah, pretty. Go Elon. Is that unreal? The plume's gonna get bigger now. Miko stage set. Burn of the world of vacuum engine. You can see the hypersonic grid fins deploy there on the first stage. Those will help provide steering and stability. So it's not. This first stage makes its way back down towards the drone ship. Of course, I zoomed in. Olympia, I'm full zoom. Which is stationed out in the Pacific Ocean. Very separation confirmed. Wow. Those launches. You are so much No, it's not. We didn't actually see the payload fairings wow. separate from the upper stage. Oh my god, wow. Wow. Which is a bit unusual, no. especially for a Starlink mission. <laughs> and so far, there have been no onboard oh cam reviews of the second stage either. Wow. Which That's amazing. Which has been abnormal for SpaceX. It better. Look up, you guys, you're missing SpaceX. Yeah, I'm wondering what you guys are visiting. Now coming up on the fourth minute of flight. <laughs> For whatever reason, instead of the normal onboard views we would see of the Merlin vacuum engine during its burn, we're just getting the telemetry map there on the right hand side of your screen unclear if spacex will be providing onboard views of the upper stage well, I'm done. wow that's awesome isn't it yeah. oh my god wow it looks surreal like look at movie. that